with my amazing glam team that I worked with on the I Love Use music video. And we are going to continue breaking down the look. Today we're talking hair, makeup, and nails. Not these current nails. Um, I am going to be talking to Patrick Ta first. Um, he is so, so amazing. I have been a fan of Patrick for so long, uh, and I had been wanting to work with him for the longest time, and um, finally got the opportunity. I think it was, you might know better than I do. Again, y'all know me, no sense of time, especially in this quarantine life. Um, but a little over a year ago, uh, maybe even two, oh God, we'll ask him when he comes on. Anyway, uh, we have created so many incredible looks uh, together, and uh, I can't wait to dive in and talk about them with him. Um, and as far as uh, Gregory and Tom, who I will also be talking to uh, in a little while, um, one thing I love about working with the three of them is they are so incredibly creative. And um, whether it's a video that we're working on or a red carpet look or a stage look, they always just know the right thing to do. Um, and they're also so open to collaboration, which is amazing because I sometimes will have very clear ideas uh, as to what I want to do. Sometimes I don't always know, um, and other times I just completely defer to them, which is the most fun because they are just artists and, and so awesome to work with. Um, so I'm going to call P in once I see him online. Um, and we are going to talk makeups. All the makeups. Let's see. I'm going to request you. Let's see. Did I do it? You know, why is this so complicated? Patrick! Here we go again. I am... Okay. I've requested. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to shoot him a text. See where he's at. Well, in the meantime, while we wait for Patrick, have you guys listened to I Love You's? Have you seen the video? Someone asked, when is my album coming out? So I have part one of a two-part project coming out May 1st. Um, I have three music video. We are going to continue breaking down the look. Uh, as far as makeup, starting with Patrick, we're going to be talking hair with Gregory Russell and nails with Tom Vacek. Um And I am going to call in Patrick right now and try this again. Hopefully this whole thing doesn't end. Um, I'm going to send you a request, Patrick. If it wants to come up. There we go. Why isn't this shite working? Hmm. Hang on. Patrick sent me another request. Because I don't see it. Why isn't this working? Whoops. Okay. Nope. Skirt. Hang on. I don't know why this isn't working. Okay. Hold up. Guys, why isn't this working? 
Every time I try and click the thing that I want to call someone in, it flips the camera around. That is not what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm going to end this and start. Okay. <laughs> Third time's a charm, people. Let's see what's going on. Hang on. What is going on? What is going on? Y'all. Hi, everyone. Sorry this isn't working. Hang on one sec. Patrick, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on. Nope, see? The camera just keeps slipping around. Damn it! I love you guys. Thanks for being patient. Sorry. I can't... Wait. Wait. P, I don't even know what that was. Y'all, what is going on with this? Okay. So, uh, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I will be right back. Hold, please. Fingers crossed that this works. His Instagram, our Instagram lives don't work it for anybody else. Is it just me? What is going on? Okay. So... If y'all didn't catch me the first three times I've tried this, uh, I'm going live today with Patrick Ta, Gregory Russell, and Tom Baycheck, my amazing glam team that I worked with on the uh, I Love You's music video. Um, and we're going to be breaking down the look, continuing to break down the look, talking hair, makeup, and nails. It's going to be amazing once this starts to happen, okay? I am going to send Patrick Ta a request. For the 790 demo. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go. Go live with Patrick Ta. Right. So I clicked on it. What happens now? Come on, Patrick. Come on, Patrick. Yay! Woo! Yes! Oh Thank my you, gosh, Jesus. finally. That was I'm so sorry. So hard. Y'all, Patrick and I were on FaceTime like five minutes before all this happened, and then suddenly I just like have never felt further from you. That was really stressful. Okay. Oh, Hi. God, that was too stressful. Hi guys. How are you, Patrick? Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I am guys, too. Thank have you guys turned I love you? Should I, should I, should I, should I play it right now? <laughs> Play it. Oh my god, I dare you. Okay. Do it. Do Maybe it. Can... Do it. Do it. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Whoa, what's Patrick Todd been listening to? <laughs> oh my god, that's not that's not listening to that. But let's let me let me let me connect to my booth while while you guys are on it. How is everyone doing? How's everybody doing? Wait, wait, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm I'm doing good. I'm hanging in there. I am so happy to be talking to you. I'm so glad that we were able to make this video before all of this craziness kicked in. Um, and now know. we're you know so able crazy. to put it out for people to see and enjoy. And I hope they're watching it and loving it. Um, but you know, just hanging in, doing my thing. How are you? How are the plants? Anybody who follows you knows about. I know. Your I am obsessed with my plants. I've been building this house <laughs> now for about two years, and I've been planting and planting and planting. And I'm like, they're literally growing like an inch, but I'm obsessed. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, do you guys have any questions? I mean, how, like, who, who has seen um, the music video? It's so chic. Like, you have so many amazing looks in it. I'm so obsessed. Thank you. Yeah, y'all. I know that some of you guys sent in some questions. Patrick, I have some here that I actually love and I want to ask you because I'm <laughs> curious myself. Um, Hey, sang me happy birthday. Dope uh, Instagram um, asks how difficult. Ooh, skirt. How difficult is it? I don't think this is connected. I think this is connected to someone else's phone. So I'm sorry. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Okay. 
As long as that song is downloaded and on repeat in your own life, that's okay that you can't pull it up right now. Anyway, this question, I want, I want to know the answer. How difficult is it to put makeup on Haley? She's constantly moving. She's actually not actually constantly moving that much when, 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 um, when she's getting makeup done, but just because I feel like, I think you love makeup just as much as like, I, I, I love makeup and I feel like you like respect our time. So I'm so grateful for that. But I think that, I mean, I feel like you, you, you've been wearing your makeup really natural lately. So it, it honestly, it doesn't take that long. So mm. it's like the, it's like the, I did my makeup, but I still look so natural and fresh. <laughs> I did, but I did my makeup. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Question. How, this is like a two part question. How did you first get into doing makeup and what, what, what would you say your first memory of makeup is? What was? Mm, I definitely don't have good memory, so I don't remember what my <laughs> what my first memory Fair is. Fair enough. <laughs> um, but I think I got into makeup just because um, I had a lot of girlfriends um, after high school. Not in high school. I had no friends in high school, but after high school, um, I kind of, like, reinvented myself. I moved to Arizona, and I um, just started practicing on, like, all moved my girlfriends. Moved to Arizona from where? Um, wait, what? Moved to Arizona from where? From San Diego. Okay. Yeah, so I moved to Arizona from San Diego. Um, started, like, going out and going out with, with my girlfriends, always, like, begging them to do their makeup. And oh. I remember, I thought, like, the looks that we did back then, I was like, oh, my God, they look so good. And I look back at them, they're, like, horrendous. No! Like, I, like, I, like I totally like cheered on my my girlfriend. She's like, "You look so great! You look so great!" And like, I I remember doing these like big like black smoky eyes, like not blended, and it was just gross. Wait, but you thought then that it was good? I thought I thought it was amazing. Amazing, great. <laughs> That's like me with my makeup now. I think it looks awesome, and then I look back on it, and I don't feel the same way. Um. Okay, so as far as the I love you's music video. Um, yeah. We, yeah, the you music video. See, you guys want to see my makeup, my makeup kit? It's like Ooh! super organized. You see this Wait, every single day. But... I, just, I just organized my drawer, one of my makeup drawers. It looks so nice, Did you? doesn't it? Look at that. Little, oh my God. Little patch of beauty in there. I want to get to that in a second. But I wanted to ask you because the music video for I love you's was always in black and white. I, I knew from the start, I always wanted it to be in no, black I was and white. So sad. I was so sad when, when, when it's black like, because you can't see any of the No, makeup. don't say that. No, don't say that. Um, but I wanted don't to know that. if, if, um, if that, ooh, there we go in color, baby. Um, in color, this is how it looks like in color. <laughs> so do, do, when it comes to like doing makeup for like black and white photography, in this case, video, um, do you pick the makeup any different any differently than you would if it was in color. I think what was really cool is that like you had this like amazing mood board already that like had all these like references that I really loved and I think that it really like like was like perfect for you just because like it was a, it was like beautiful just like it was very natural but like just beautiful shadows and I think like whenever I do like makeup for black and white I focus more on like defining like areas on the face because you can, you're not you're not gonna really be, be be able to like see color i i remember for like what we were like running like running that day like there are so many looks to do and like in like so little time to film and we were trying to change things like here and there it's usually like i feel like usually like when i do like music videos like with other people everyone is like super chill but like i think like you you were like always on time always on time i'm like running i'm like running after her trying to like put on lipstick while she's changing um, um but i think we were trying to change you to do like this like bold lip and um it was actually one of my my favorite looks it was like you were wearing like all like this like zebra uh, Oof, the like cat suit yeah. situation yeah. that was one of my favorite looks this, too like, really dark this, this like really dark lip but it comes up dark on camera so um, it, it just made it look even more sexy, I think. Agreed. Yeah, I love that we were able to, you know, squeeze that, just that variation in there, because obviously there's such a wide range as far as the wardrobe in the video, 
Um, and we were able to kind of sneak in a little hair and makeup change as well, which was, which was really awesome. Um, so I have a, I have a personal question that I think I've asked you before, but I don't remember the answer because my, my everyday sort of, oh, <laughs> and folks, my everyday, um, makeup sort of look when I'm on my own, when it's just me and not you, um, is super, super quick. I like basically just, I, I do very little, um, but a staple, an essential, a must every time is my Patrick Ta liner and lip cream. Now I'm constantly sort of inter <laughs> What? So I paid it. I think I did it. Yeah, I have no, all of you. you definitely did it. I, no, I, de I definitely did it. Okay, so what I want to know is what is your favorite pairing of the them. color that i used on you for the music video i think was she's confident and um she's either, she's either strong or she's bold it's like i i really like when a lip color is like wait what is that she's strong oh great yeah like she's strong is like one of my favorites um she's okay. independent is also what 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 one what of my favorites i think the first time i did your makeup it was it was That's in um it was in like Cupertino and yes, and I use she's independent. But for the music video, it's like it's it's like our it's like a nude brick brown pink shade. <laughs> a nude pink brick brown like shade. All that, all um. Okay. Amazing. So I'm happy to know that I I so these you would think you say that she's strong and she's independent goes well together. Yeah, I think those are my, I mean, I think that is my favorite. If, if you guys follow me, I'm always tagging those two colors. Perfect. Great. Then I've got that now. Um, I want to see if, so on that note then, as far as Patrick Ta Beauty, what is next? What is in the works? What is happening? We've been on trips together in other countries. In fact, literally this exact time last year, we were in Qatar and a couple days Rob, a couple days ago Rob sent me this video of Laura him and I doing that whole dune bashing situation right oh and my you God. you didn't come along though because there was Yeah some... because I was like I, I was just about to launch my brand my, oh yeah my anniversary right. for my brand is April 4th so it's in I think 2 days Oh my but, God that's um, crazy Yeah Haley went dude like dune bashing thank God I, I didn't go cuz I'm not trying to die uh, I mean to she, either she, she, she went with um, Rob and Laura and I was like trying to like I was like there's like all this drama with like videos and content and trying to like just like have things like come out on time like there's so many there's so many like logistics that go behind like making a product so it just takes like so long but I have um, I have these coming out this is major brow um, it's coming out April 17th. If you guys really want bushy, feathered, pushed up, gorge brows, then um, oh, come at me. <laughs> come at you. Can we see it? Can we Can we get it? Yeah. yeah. Should I, like, use it, honey? Yes, use it. Use Actually, it. I want to show you guys this trick. I want to show you guys this trick. So this is, if you guys have ever used, like, a brow wax or, like, a brow soap, you want to spray a little bit of a setting spray into the product and then you want to activate it with like a spoolie this is not going to be a nice angle. this is not going to be a nice angle but um i'm going to put this just like right into oh my god this is like really white but i'm i'm i'm, 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 I'm going to put this like right into my eyebrows the product is like really wet and then you want to wait for it to to dry okay, I, need, I need a mirror i cannot see <laughs> oh, oh you're doing god. that into your phone yeah kudos <laughs> okay and then you want to wait for the, for the product to get dry. Like it's going to be like a little bit white right now, but once it dries, like this is like really good tip that I think that you you can do with like any product, if not mine, is that pressing it down, press it like taking like a flat brush, and basically like brow lamination, mm. like just press the product down onto the skin it's gonna like flatten flatten the product out and then it's, so and then and then you can just br brush them up then you have a really nice feathered eyebrow. gorge 
Now, do those two brushes you just use come with? No, so they're they're the same brush, but um, it's sold oh. separately. Oh, got it. Okay, amazing. Oh, April seventeenth. Damn, is there waitlist? Can I get on? Thanks, girl. Uh, we um, need to do we need to do like a a quarantine makeup tutorial yeah, over you Instagram. Guys, line. You guys like this is like they come in like smaller smaller kits, but like. Um, this is like a really good way to like, um, I think organize your makeup. Obviously, like you're not going to carry this all the way around, like when you're traveling, but like mm. have like all my stuff in here. I can just literally, oh, I can literally just like close it and then just like throw it away. Just kidding. Not, not throw it away, but, yeah, but hardly. <laughs> um, do you guys have any questions, um, about like the makeup on the music video. I, I, there, there is this one, there is this, like, I, can, I, can I show them some like BTS? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Let me find the photo shoot, I mean, <laughs> the, 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 the music video. There's this one outfit, like, oh my God, so gorgeous. I took like a hundred photos. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> when did we take those? I don't even remember. You weren't taking them. I was just off, like, in the corner, like, being paparazzi and um, taking, like, but, like, look at all the, that jewelry that you can't even see. Oh, like, it was so uh. glowy and, like, hold on, let me find more. <laughs> I know. I, I pulled up some, like, fit uh, fitting photos the other day, when I, or yesterday, yeah. when I was talking to Robin Marielle. So gorgeous. So good. That eye, that eye is so gorgeous and... and yeah, beautiful. Wait. Uh, what? Nothing. I had a question, but keep going. Come on. <laughs> no, that's all. <laughs> um. Wait. What was I gonna ask you? Wait. I know there's one thing I wanna ask, but there's another thing. What was it? Um. We've been working together now for how long? Like two years. Is it two years? I was trying to figure that out. It. Yeah, I used to like I I was like trying I used to like stalk Haley trying to get her to use me as her makeup artist because um she used like one of my best friends um Laura uh she she she, she uses like one, one of my best friends Laura as um her hairstylist so I was, shout like, out Laura I love you so much we love you Laura Poco get get me in there <laughs> that's so funny to hear you say that because I feel like I for the longest time was stalking you trying to get you to do my makeup um that was from, that was was from saying, the photo that was from the photo <gasps> that was martini's first time on set side note martini didn't have a name when we made this video um right, her name wait what 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 no was no, no no we're not going there <laughs> i had Grizzly. so many <laughs> Grizzly was one of them. i had so many different options of names and and none of them are anywhere near anything like martini which is hilarious but i think martini is perfect so there's that. Um, I was gonna ask you something in regards to the video, but maybe maybe it will come back to me. There's the song. I really want to know, Keith. I really want to know what your favorite look is that we've ever done. Uh, let me show you. Because I don't know which what mine is. This is like the perfect background music. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let me find it in my phone real quick, sorry. So. Ooh. We got, we got ready to go. We were getting ready for um, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And I just love like the eyes that I did on you. Like they were lifted, elongated. And I think all I used was like, like bronzer in the crease, I think. And like a little bit of like a- That like annoys cream, me. Like a little cream shadow. Amazing. <laughs> every time, every time you do my makeup before I wash it off, I try and like dissect it in the mirror. 
so that I know exactly what you've done. Like I'll look at like the different shades of shadow on my eyes or the contour or whatever it is and just try and emulate it. it never works out, but I but I try. So there's that. Oh. Um I know I I wanna make I wanna come over and like do like a like a makeup lesson. Please. Anytime after we're done social distancing. <laughs> I know, I'm, um, I'm, totally how, over, I'm totally over quarantining. <laughs> I know. It's really, how do you think it's like affected the the makeup world? And as far as like your beauty line, like how, how has it been affecting? Uh, it's, it's honestly, it's honestly been really hard. I, my job is I have to, it's like in person and I have to be in front of the person to like be able to have a job. So I feel like I think all us makeup artists and hairstylists and anyone in like the beauty industry has more like jobless right now so i'm really like trying to focus on like creating content and hopefully um other like i'm trying to like other find like ways of making like revenue um whether it's like trying trying to work with brands and stuff but like even like i mean as as a brand owner like we have to really be be careful with like what we're spending right now because like we don't know where the economy is going to be and like we don't know i think like people are just trying to figure out how to pay their bills and feed their kids and um yeah it's it's definitely scary so i mean i feel like anyone that like is able to be on uh instagram live and like ha like have a place to stay and like be able to be, like be here to like listen to us like i feel like we're also um like blessed already so there's, a, there's mm -hmm. so many, I, I i i saw this thing on instagram the other day that like made me really happy and like it just like like after watching the video i just like smiled but like it basically talked about how like even though like this is so hard right now um like this time in our lives like later like when we grow up and like we have kids like these like this is going to be like a like 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 uh, a time where kids just remember their parents staying at home and being able to play with them all day it's it's a time where all the entrepreneurs have time to just like sit and think about what their next move is it's a time right. where like you really like think of like just like ways to like in like entertain yourself or like what makes you happy and like the, the, the things that are more important in life and i think that even though like this is like a really scary time, it's also like something that I think is really good. I don't know. No, I agree. I, I definitely think obviously there are, I mean, it's, it's wild. It's weird. It's, it's uh, tragic in some cases. Um, but I do think it's obviously very important to stay positive and, and look at the positive side of things. And like you just mentioned, like this is a chance for people to finally just slow down and be home. I'm not used to being home like this. And, I've been having meals with my family at the same table at the same time. And we've been having conversations and, you know, I wasn't even supposed to be in town for, I mean, a couple months actually at, at this time. Uh, and the fact that I am is just, it's, it's a blessing in a way. And of, of course, obviously there are, I just think what's crazy too, is that li everyone is being affected by this, no matter, no matter who you are, what you do, where you're from, everyone is feeling this. Um, and, obviously some worse than others. I know the position I'm in and I feel very, very blessed. Um, but it, but I, like I said, I think it is really important to just stay positive. And I think for someone like you and someone like me, you know, we are super creative people. And, you know, as long as we can just sort of find ways to continue being creative and, um, you know, keeping, keeping positive and happy. Yeah, I feel like there's so yeah. many, like, there's so many, like, dreamers and, I mean, or like just people that I mean, like I feel like we're also motivated to just like go out and be able to like do something with our lives, and like we're now we're being like refrained to our <laughs> our our homes or our bedrooms, and um, it's just like it's I feel like it's definitely really, 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 really difficult because I definitely get stressed. I think sometimes on Instagram, like you probably like see like oh these people have so much, but like everyone still it gets there's so many stresses out there. Um, yeah, I, I like I I just um, like I've been building this house now for almost two years, and I just 
am about to finish and I have like all, I have to like pay all these like closing out like invoices. I'm like, oh my God, I need to get back to work <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> right? No, I like, know it's it's a wild it's a wild time. Um but yeah, but I think like honestly, like with all the bad, there is definitely going to be a lot. There, there has been a lot of good, and um, hope, I'm just basically I'm hopeful. I like hopefully this ends sooner than later. But yeah, well, it will if we all stay inside, keep our hands clean, <laughs> um, and yeah. you know, take all the all the necessary precautions, and yeah. I, I'm with you. I hope it. I hope it ends sooner than later. I hope I can see you soon. I hope we can create more books and make more music videos and and have more shoots and um, just keep creating. So hopefully, hopefully soon. We need to make a TikTok, guys. Um, I Ooh. love you is on TikTok. Let's figure out what that TikTok <laughs> dance is going to be. I, I I was telling Haley that we need to figure out what this TikTok dance is because I'm obsessed with it and I need to figure. Out how I mean I'm, I'm like the worst at dancing. I, I posted the dancing video. Yesterday, <laughs> You're really not. Stop dancing. I, I, that. I, I, I only did one drop, but um, <laughs> figure out what that what that TikTok dances and everyone go on TikTok and make and make and make it. You heard him, people. Patrick takes this very very seriously. In fact, yeah, it's 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 it should be taken seriously. I take it seriously as well. So the fact that I love yous is now on TikTok. Y'all need to be turning out those dance videos let's figure it out <laughs> Ooh, i love you so much p thank you for doing this with me thank you for thank you. creating so many amazing looks with me and and collaborating with me and um just being a constant light I'm in so my life I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of you thank you thank you so much i love you stay safe take care of your plants take care of yourself and i will talk to you soon love you bye love you bye You guys are so wonderful. Thank you for joining. I'm going to log off and log back in and talk some hair. All right. I'll see you guys. Thanks for tuning in.
lack of wow this is so okay great okay so again <laughs> i'm just gonna blame instagram <laughs> it's probably me i am not great with this stuff okay um like i was saying before this is so crazy i'm so sorry um that this hasn't been working but uh that was so fun talking to patrick ta he is so so wonderful and i absolutely love working with him and i loved getting to work with him on the i love you's music video um we are going to continue breaking down the look I'm going to call Gregory Russell, who is the best hairstylist in the game. Um, and he is so wonderful to be around and to hang out with and to have on set and to have around in general. Um, and constantly turns out the looks when it comes to hair. Okay, so Gregory. <laughs> Dear Lord, babe, Jesus, please help me add him into this live seamlessly. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Gregory, I'm calling you. Now it says he's unable to join. Okay, so... Um, at least you guys can hear me, so I can stall. So... I should have started by saying, if you guys have not seen the music video for I Love Yous, you should go watch it so that you know what the heck we're talking about. I'm so glad you guys can hear me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Gregory, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna ask to go live with you. I don't know why. Now it says unable to join under your name when I go to add you. Let's see. It says unable to join. Gregory, I see your request, but it says unable. Can we get Instagram tech support up in here? Any of y'all know how to do this? Someone just said my phone was muted. If all of your phones were muted and my sound, there was nothing wrong with it to begin with. We got beef. I'm gonna try you again, Gregory. Okay, let's see. Gregory. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. What in the world? I mean, y'all. Go live with Gregory Russell. Y'all, it's not coming up. It's making me sad. I'm pretty sad right now. It's not coming up, Gregory. <laughs> oh my god. Technology's great, isn't it, when it works? Um, right. Okay. I see the request. I'm going in again. I'm going in again, Gregory. I am going. I'm going in. I don't see your name now. So I'm going to type it in. Let's hope it comes up. I mean, what is the deal with this? It still says unable to join. Gregory, get off Instagram and come back. Okay. In the meantime, Katie, your mom is screaming I love you's in the background. That is great news. That is great to know. Thank you for, thank you for that. Thank your mom for that. Tell her to scream it louder, take a video, send it my way. Can't wait to see it. Try someone else's quickly to see. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna add one of you guys in real quick. Let's see. I'm gonna add
Vanessa. Hello. Okay. No. No, Vanessa. Okay. okay I get it. It's okay. It's okay. Gregory, are you back on? Don't see you. I don't see you. Mm -mm. I'm just trying to get him on the phone. I can't. Okay. okay. Let me live. No, I can text him, but... Oh, no. I got the spinning wheel on my computer. Oh, no. I lost... Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not going to end well. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm freaking I'm freaking out. Oh my god. Okay, y'all. I love you guys. Someone said, Why are you upset? I'm upset because I can't figure Instagram out. But I'm going to. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna figure this out and I'm gonna come back. Okay? I'm like sweating right now. This is too damn stressful. I'm gonna figure this out and I will be back. I will be back. I will be back. With Gregory. Hang on. Okay. 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 So we've all learned that Instagram is down. I thought it was me. Okay. Here we are. Back again. Calm, cool, and collected for the 700th time. I'm going to call Gregory Russell into this live chat. <laughs> to talk about hair, uh, my hair in the I Love You's music video specifically. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to call. I'm just going to call. All right, guys. Fingers crossed. Here we go. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Tears of joy is gonna happen. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! Queen! <laughs> Queen! Look at you. How are you? Great. How's it going? You look incredible as always. Soaking up the sun, I see. Yes. Need oh. all the vitamin D I can get, baby. Good, good. How are you? I miss you. I'm sorry for all the complications. <laughs> I'm great. I'm great. You know, Good. just trying to stay upbeat through all of this. That's right. As we all are. Yep. How have you been? How have you been doing? What have you been doing? And how have you been keeping busy? Just trying to stay really active. Um, I'm out in the desert. Oh, great. Yeah. So I just been working out. We have like some gym equipment here. So I've been doing that. And then we have bikes. So we've been going on bike rides. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. And cooking. Oh, and cooking. Obviously. Cooking, cleaning, that's like, that goes without saying at this point. Um, well, I'm so excited to be talking to you. I've been kind of breaking down the look as far as the I Love You's music video. Um, and I mean, I have got some personal hair questions for you, as I always do. And I've had some really great ones come in from some fans. Um, but I figured we could just kind of start with um, what we what we did for the video and sort of one thing I love about working with you is that I always feel like you just know what to do. You just know what the right thing is and your confidence is like, it goes such a long way with me, especially when I'm getting ready for something, whether it's a huge event or a big music video, this was like such a, such a big deal for me to, to get it right and to sort of make my vision come to life. And I just have to like tell you what I've got in mind and you've like got it. So as far as what we did, what you did with my hair in the video, um, how did you come up with the idea? What did you use? I got you. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, I think it's always really important to get inspired by the clothes. So mm -hmm. like, and of course, like who I'm working with, like, I know Haley's vibe. I know like what you're into. 
And then I like try to translate that with the clothes. And Rob and Muriel are so amazing to work with. Your guys' live was really cute, by the way. Oh, thank um, you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they're amazing to be collaborative with because they have such strong visuals and the clothes they bring are so bold and everything. So it's really fun <laughs> for me to get to play with that angle of it because things feel really clear to me when there's such strong direction with the clothes. So, totally. yeah, I mean, for the first look, you know, I wanted to have some, I'm sorry, my dogs are like flipping out it's right now. It's totally fine. So is mine. The fact that you can't hear her is a miracle. Bunny! <laughs> um, you have Bunny? Can you bring? Can you bring? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Go get her! <laughs> um, oh my God, my poor neighbor. Bunny is seriously queen. Come on. Bunny. It's no time, what baby. Hey, stick. Oh my God, she's running. She's running from me. <laughs> Bunny, come here. You're not in trouble. <laughs> Dad. Come here. Oh my God. <laughs> say hello to your fans. <gasps> hi, Bunny. Bunny, say hi to Bailey. Hi, Bunny. Oh my God, Gregory. It's my little queen. She's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> She's perfect. She's perfect. She's perfect. That's my baby. No. Right. Uh, Bunny's um, a bad baby. Yes, my. Um, <laughs> she is. Her nickname is Bratty Bunny for a reason. Amazing, Bratty Bunny. <laughs> um. Anyways, so yes. So with the first look, it was the like I. You'll have to like forgive me. I can't remember the designers, but it was like that bustier look. I want to say it was Wolford or something. Oh, the Wolford bodysuit. That was the yes, bodysuit. Ma'am Pam. Yeah. So yep. this one we wanted like super natural, just like sexy mm -hmm. texture. You would show me that really cool reference. I think that was like Margella or something. Yeah. And the hair looked like really grungy and ropey and cool. And that mm -hmm. was amazing. But because we only had one day to shoot, we had to like take into consideration what I would have to do afterwards, which is like right. a super straight, sleek look eventually. So I couldn't right. go too ham on the products. So what I did <laughs> is I was like, okay, let's do this. Let's do like a super natural texture with the hair. So I prepped right. your hair with Kerastasis. Um, it's called Bouffant Mousse. So I used that through like the crown and then through the lengths of your hair and we blew you out kind of rough dry, not exactly with a round brush. Right. Exactly. Yeah. We did like a little bit through the front and then a little bit through the crown just so I could really like force some volume into the back. Mm -hmm. um, and then after I did that, I kind of diffused the rest and twisted it like this and hit it with the blow dryer until it was like pretty much all the way dry. But your hair was already like, it was on the damp side. It wasn't exactly like 100% wet when we started. Right, right. So right. then after that, I went through and used like, um, I think it was like a one and a quarter inch curling iron and just did some like variating waves. And I really took pieces at random. Like I didn't want it to look too perfect. I wanted it to right. look really messy and natural. So, I so when you do that, do you change the direction in which you curl it in? Well, it depends. It depends what, what I'm doing. So generally, I'm going like, say this is the iron. I'm wrapping the hair this way on it and leaving okay. the ends out. And I'm pulling okay. it out, stretching it immediately afterwards just so it gets like a really loose bend to it because I don't right. want it to look too springy for that right. kind of look. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would do with that and then I would also take the flat iron and kind of undulate waves through it right. as well I can't do Just that to like, save my life it is very challenging for people to do <laughs> on their own it's possible oh my God. it takes a lot of practice good to know I'll keep going <laughs> <laughs> keep on practicing um also another a big tip for that too is when you're doing it on yourself don't hold your hair straight when you're doing it straight down. Like you want to elevate it a little bit because that's wow. what gives you like a little bit of the um, looseness to the weight. If you do so it straight it like this, like down, that's when people are like, oh, it looks too crimpy. Okay. Well, Pro tip. Every day. okay. 
I always try, I was, I was saying to Patrick earlier, whenever I like go to take my makeup off, I do the same thing with my hair where I'm like, before I wash it, how does it feel? What products are we using? What is the, how do I replicate this look? But you always create a texture that I feel like I can never, I can never get. It's just so, it's like so natural, but done perfectly. Um, but yeah, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. What a <laughs> Every doll. time. Well, um, you put me out of business if you could. <laughs> oh, please. Um, so first I want to ask you, well, two part question. Okay. Okay. Well, no, I'll break it up. First I want to know what is your favorite hairstyle that we've ever done? I think my favorite hairstyle that we've ever done was um, that slick back look when you were wearing that Mugler suit. Remember the bustier? Of course. Uh, that was the AMAs in yep. 2017, I think. Yep. Um, damn, that's probably one of my favorites, too. I love that, that one. I just that love that like full a, look. The, totally. Me, too. Was that? Would you have called that like a wet hair look? For sure. Yeah, I okay. mean, your ends weren't necessarily wet, but like at the root, at the base of it all, it was, yeah. it was definitely wet. Do yeah. You have the least favorite hairstyle that we've ever done. <laughs> oh my God. No, I literally love all of them. <laughs> Do you? I, Is there one yeah. that we've done that like maybe. How often do you feel like things don't translate necessarily? And this is what I think you have down so well, but like on in photographs or on camera, like has there ever been a situation where you've done someone's hair or mine um, and like you think it looks great, it looks perfect, it's awesome. And then all of a sudden you see photos and you're like, that is not what I did. Is it? <laughs> yeah, of course. There's like oh many God. times that has happened. Also, like you don't know what's, first of all, let me tell you guys this that like you will maybe that hairstyle is perfect when you left and then like your client is going in the <laughs> car they're hugging people on the carpet Ooh. you don't know what's happening they could have yep. smacked their head on the car like you never know and maybe know. like not noticed or something but yeah no that's definitely happened to me before and i've been super bummed about it but like Ooh. at the end of the day it's hair and like it's, it's hair. very important to me and it's very dear to me what i do but it's hair. But I will hair, say, I, I do think, think that, like, it obviously plays such a huge role in in a look, in a performance, um, you know, as an actor who's done multiple period pieces, like, it is, it, it can be so specific and, and um, so, I mean, it, it's such a, it's its own character, your hair, um, or it can be, um, and I think it's so important. Um, what this actually, this question came in from a fan and I thought it was so great. And I don't remember the name of who sent it in, but somebody said, um, you're doing somebody's hair and everything like, it, it, well, it was something like it's, everything's going wrong and you've got five minutes till the show starts or something like that. What do you do? What, what, what has been like your nightmarish, like worst experience? I imagine like, there's a power outage and your tools aren't working or that has happened to me before really yeah there was a power oh. outage and i had to finish somebody's hair and i i couldn't get it completely dry um i just basically went with like a natural texture and like did their hair up Oof. you know luckily that person had like a really beautiful natural texture to their hair but yeah right. i mean there's oh certain God. sheets you can do as far as like if you're like tucking the face framing bits around the ear so it gets like a little bend to it once it dries right. or like you know if you're like literally pinning pearls or something for it to dry or like with my hair when i let it air dry like i always tie it back and then put it in a really tight like knot and mm. then when it comes out it has like a more of a uniform wave to it that's really right. natural there's like lots of ways you can troubleshoot that kind of stuff but mm -hmm. like a sleek low knot is always chic and it's always gonna totally. look totally. You know, it's Fair always enough. gonna look good. So you can always go to that or a ponytail. Fair enough. Good call. Um okay. This is like more of a personal thing because I'm always just curious. You've given me some really incredible products for like hair care, some really great hair masks. Um I think like people obviously take skincare very seriously. Um, and I have my whole life and have more recently just because I constantly have 
hot tools on my hair. I'm always doing it. I'm always blow drying it or curling it or doing something to it. Um, what do you suggest as far as like hair care? Like what are, what are things that you should do like daily, weekly? What, what are, what are things you suggest? Well, the biggest thing I think is a lot of people, I think have this misunderstanding that your shampoo and conditioner don't really matter, but like they're actually very important foundation for people's hair, like given your hair texture. I mean, maybe for like people who have like really dreamy, amazing hair, like it doesn't matter. But for like me, I have really like coarse, frizzy hair. Like I have to use really heavy stuff and it really makes a difference with shampoo and conditioner I'm using. So I say that is number one, really important. You need to make sure you're getting the right kind of shampoo and conditioner for your hair texture. Um, and then another great one for girls who have long hair, it's really important how you brush your hair. Like a lot of people, yeah. when I'm with my clients and what brush you're using, um, they will literally just like start the rip brush up uh, and like yeah. rip their hair down. And yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. That. Um, you have to start from the bottoms up. Believe it or not, it's really important. It has a lot to do with how much breakage you're going to get on your ends and how many split ends you're going to have. So that's really important to do. You have to take your time and not just rip through it, especially right, not right, when right. it's wet. When your hair is wet, right. it's, it's susceptible to breaking. So um, when it's dry okay. is when you can kind of go through it with the brush and use like my favorite brush is this Sheila Stotts brush. It's okay. an amazing detangling brush. That's what I always use for you. Um, I feel like I've, pro I think I've given you one, haven't I? If I haven't, I'll get you one. <laughs> you might have. I don't know the names of brushes. <laughs> um, anyways, that's like the best brush for um, detangling your hair. And then also oiling your hair is really important. Um, the night before you're going to wash your hair, especially girls or guys who have really long hair, if you can put like an organic raw coconut oil through your hair the night before you're going to wash it and just like braid it over your shoulder and sleep with it everywhere in your hair. from the root you down yeah you can put okay. it all the way it's non-comedogenic it's not going to clog your skin or anything but um just brush it through do like a really loose braid over one side and that really helps to rehydrate your hair um oh. also another one i'm obsessed with is Kerastase makes this um it's called eight hour magic serum you put that in at night one, it smells like magic. Two, Love it that. makes your hair feel like magic in the morning. It's like super soft and silky. It really makes your hair like really soft in the morning. What was that called? Eight hour magic serum. Good to know. It's really, it smells so good. You're going to love it. Amazing. Um, I'll get you some. And it's good. Um, I just added it to my list of things to order. <laughs> sick. Um, yeah, those are really important things. I just think like the wellness of your hair is super important. Also, like um, what you're ingesting, like your diet super important. So um, taking omega oils and stuff is really, really good for your hair. It really mm -hmm. helps to hydrate your scalp and hydrate your hair. Mm -hmm. um, so things like that are really, really great. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Good to know. I'm always getting those questions about my hair. And I've well, you have such amazing hair. It's like okay. obvious. Thank you. I know, and it's gotten so, so, so long. Gregory and I used to put extensions in to get this length that I have finally gotten back uh, on my own. So yes, honey. Great news. Um, but I am so thankful for you and all of the looks that we've created and all of the time that we've had, you know, to spend creating together. I think this has, you know, been a really big moment of realization and. Um, you know, Definitely. we've all been able to like slow down and take a minute and I'm, I feel so lucky and thankful that we were able to make this video um, when we could and uh, and it's, it's something I'm really proud of and happy about and it was a total vision in my head brought to life and, and you played a huge part in that. So thank you so much. Well, thank you for always being so awesome to collaborate with and such a joy to work with. Haley is like always in a great mood and is always so sweet and lovely with you guys. I am when Instagram is working. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Gregory. Thank you so much. I hope I, I see you, you soon. Too. You Have definitely will. Bye, baby. Love you. Love you. All right, y'all. Whew. I love Gregory so, so much. And Patrick, 
um, creating with them is, is always such a dream. And like I said before, I sometimes will walk into whatever we're getting ready for and know exactly what I want. Um, as far as hair and makeup and other times I, I don't know. And other times I just go to them and say, this is a look, do what you will do what you want. Um, and they never fail to make me feel so confident and so beautiful. And, um, they are just wonderful. So, uh, next is the one and only Tom Baycheck on the nails. I'm not going to show off these nails as if he's done anything with them because they are in bad, bad shape. And he is going to have to give me a pointer or two how to clean these bad boys up. Anyway, we're talking nails next. I'm going to hop off and I'm going to hop back on and I'm going to call Tom. There's going to be no issues whatsoever. It's going to be amazing. I'll see you guys in a sec. Seamless, I love it. Hey. Tom! hey, hi, how are you? I am good. How are you? I'm good. I've been. Oh no, they're saying there's no audio again. There what? There wasn't. But it's once you connected me, we're we're on. I can hear you now. But I couldn't hear you prior to you connecting me. Let us know. Let us know. Yep, there we go. You have sound. Okay, good. So then let me just say what I was saying before. Um, yes. Everybody that is watching, this is Tom Bacek, the one and only. Um, I have been breaking down the look, looks, the multiple looks from the I Love You's music video from the styling to the hair to the makeup and now to the nails. Um, Tom is like a master when it comes to shaping the perfect nail, coloring it of course and just creating like all around badass manicures so tom welcome <laughs> thank you thank you excited to be here i've watched i watched uh i watched you yesterday with robin marielle and then Amazing. with patrick and gregory and so much fun so much great it's, info and insight it's so awesome it's funny because i feel like i've i've actually been given the opportunity to ask you guys questions too that i i like haven't before and and didn't necessarily know the answers to which i i love for me so this totally. is really great um totally. so first i just want to start uh i i'm so curious to to know sort of how how you've just been handling all of this obviously it's you know it it um doesn't go unnoticed we're living in a very strange time right now totally. um and i think obviously it's best to stay positive and look at the positive side of things i see that you've been doing some amazing tiktoks with oh zoe. my god <laughs> zoe has forced me into it and i can't hey, even, like i can't I, there's no excuse i'm like oh baby i gotta work because i don't so right 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 you're <laughs> embrace it tom embrace it embrace it go with it go with it um, but what have you been doing? What have you guys been up to? How have you sort of been like handling all of this? So at the beginning, I, it was it was nice because work was kind of crazy, as you know, the the couple of months coming up to this. Um, mm -hmm. So at first it was like a vacation, and then it was like, yeah, no, no, it's okay because it's spring break. This is what time we would be home anyhow right. from school. But you know the the limited um, uh, ability to go anywhere or do anything has has definitely changed the dynamic. <laughs> Um, so now as, as I start focusing back into work, it's kind of like, all right, what, you know, what is, I can't be with my clients, but I'm getting a lot of requests from you guys. Like, how do I soak my gels off? That seems to be like the number one question at home. <laughs> We're going to get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, literally like peeling them off. Don't get mad. I know that's absolutely, the worst thing to do, but it's literally I on know. the table. You're in big trouble, girl. I know. So, uh. If people don't know, Haley's mom used to do nails too. So she has a professional in the house. 
<laughs> she, I know, I know. And she but it's difficult, right, to go, you. Mom? Yeah, exactly. You're like, no, no, I'm good. I got this. Yeah, it's yeah, satisfying. I got it. <laughs> you know? Wait, there it goes. Yep, got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Terrible. And then, yeah, so then, like, you know, what are what are some of the needs at home? So we've been trying to answer questions, um, doing doing Insta Lives like this and IGTVs and different mm -hmm. ways to, to give back and, and, and try to help out a little bit, as well as keep ourselves sane. Um, and, and then, of course, I think right now, having this downtime is a perfect time to uh, focus on things that, I mean, on, on a flip side, the blessing of this is I've gotten, you know, major time with my kids and my kids have had to have major time with me. Right. And so, you know, we, we actually get to spend some time together and we do, mm -hmm. you know, movie nights and family dinners around the table and all the, right. the things where the busy day to day hasn't let us do. So as far right. as coming closer as family and friends, you know, that's been awesome. And then, of course, obviously making sure just because we uh, uh, are disconnected doesn't mean we should stay disconnected and, right. and you know, reaching out to our friends and our family and making the phone calls and you know are are there elderly in our neighborhood that we can find out if they need something that we can we can maybe run and go grab that they can't and you right. know just just ways of like being good to each other while you know when when we're having to 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 sit back and and reflect on on what's important of course absolutely um i know i'm totally with you i've been i've been home with my family and that's such a rare thing and and yes i mean something i think we kind of take for granted sometimes too when we so when much. we know like we get to come home to our family and they're they're you know we know they're going to be there or whatever it's like now it's um and like you said just calling in other calling in all our family members constantly on facetime now like it's almost as if we're all more connected than we've ever been absolutely uh, even with the distance so uh it's it's kind of nice in a way it's kind of nice it's kind of nice yeah and then of course um, business wise like getting the kit together practicing nail skills like just with zoe you know practicing new nail styles and then is there right. is there new little nail art techniques things that i didn't get an opportunity to sit back or felt you know it was worth the time to sit down and do things but now i've right. got the time so it's like the kit is perfect and cleaned up and new products and ready to go and and just making myself better because i definitely when this when this blows by and it will it, it'll pass like everything passes mm -hmm. um it's you know our our industry i believe the the self-care and the beauty industry is is going to skyrocket because people are gonna be like i need my hair done i need my nails totally. done. I need, yeah totally. exactly where's my esthetician um so it's like <laughs> be ready be prepared and um and and plan for the future absolutely i'm with you on that that's great advice um so now as far as nails go Talk to as me. far as as far as nails in the I Love You's music video, um, yes. Our first conversation, we uh, I've been saying this with with everybody because it obviously sort of came into play when making decisions as far as makeup and wardrobe and and hair. Um, sure. We always knew that the video was going to be in black and white, yeah. um, and I love a long, beautiful nail because I just I use my hands a lot when I talk, when so I sing, when I'm moving. Um, and so I just love, I, I feel like that just like gives me a reason to, to do it. Gives me, you know, a little something to work with. That's um, right. So we knew that I was going to be using my hands a lot. Uh, and then of course, obviously it was going to be black and white, like I just said. So when it came to picking a color, maybe we, you could sort of talk about the process of like, you know, not wanting to have something that would be distracting in any way. Um, but more sort of just seamless and. Um, yeah, you, you, you can talk about it better than I can. <laughs> no, that, I, that was perfect. Like, what, you, you have to remember a bit with color in black and white, um, it turns grayscale. So the darker the color, the darker it's going to look on your nail. So even like uh, a bright red can look black in a black and white, right. depending on, on, on the tones. Um, and so we definitely, you know, we felt with, with so many styles uh going to be shown that we wanted something that kind of worked with everything mm -hmm. um and and so we played with a couple of different nudes that we felt you know was going to give us that right type of grayscale so that it looked like you had color it was deliberately done but not distracting we didn't want it because you do right. you work with your hands a lot they're in your face 
um, in our face in the camera. And so right. it's like, how, how do we, how do we make it just timeless, gorgeous, mm. um, and elegant. And so we went with, we went very tonal to your skin. We played with a couple yes. different shades and we, we went with one that, um, kind of picked up the highlights in your skin tone. So Still just got a little like, bit left of it. There's a little bit left. It's like one, one shade darker than, than your actual skin tone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's tragic. What's You're missing me now, aren't you? <laughs> oh, man, you've got no idea, Tom. I was saying to my mom the other day, I was like, I have never wanted Tom to come over more in my any time, any time of day, any time, whatever. Any time, whatever he'll do. Oh, For my God. Sure. For sure. Um, so now, obviously, uh, you know, washing our hands, keeping our hands clean is a really big step in just taking precautions as to what's going on Absolutely. um and, and and it should be and, and is anyway um but how does how does sort of like nail care fall into you know i think i was saying to gregory you know um having like a skin care routine is like a very important thing to a lot of people um yes. to myself but i i haven't i've only realized sort of in the recent years that like your hair is just as important and your nails are just as important as far as taking care of them um, I mean, I use my hands a lot. I'm, I'm constantly, I'm, now that I've got a little puppy just like biting at them no, all Martini. the time, I'm like, okay, oh, I've got to interrupt you. I know, you. How did we, I already know how, what you're going to say. Okay, we'll go back there, we'll go back there. How okay, did okay, Martini? okay. Okay, we'll go there. I know, we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, <laughs> so, um, for anybody that doesn't, Martini didn't have a name when we made this music video, and Martini is so far from what I was considering uh, so naming far. her. So we'll get there. But um, I love but... it. I love it. It was the perfect name. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I like to think I, I take care of of my nails, but I, I until I started working with you, I never really did anything other than just, like, be aware of them, really, d sure. if that makes sense. Like, I, I, I wasn't taking any steps daily, weekly, night, whatever, to, to take care of my nails. So what are things that like you suggest um, are, are important as far as taking care of your nails? Absolutely. Well, I think the, a couple of things. One, just one good hygiene. Like when you let your nails grow and if they grow too long and, and the, the tips start to chip and get ragged, you know, you have to worry right. about um, um, them catching and, and scratching and uh you know as product starts to lift like so let's say you had acrylics or tips or a gel polish and it's starting to lift well that starts to create an environment for bacteria so um to grow so it just it's not it's just you know regular manicures are, are just one great hygiene um they they make you feel better because like mm -hmm. your hands are, you're always looking at your fingers, like you're touching things, grabbing things. Totally. Um, and so I'm just gonna even say for ourselves, not even for others, you know, we look at our hands a lot and when our nails are uh, well manicured, not even like crazy, not just taking care of, you feel mm -hmm. better. It's like you're totally. complete. It's, it puts you in a good place where when your nails are <laughs> ragged, you feel like, oh, I need to do something. Like I need to do something about these. It, and it's, it's just so like, true. right? Like you can see, I remember in the early fashion days, I mean, I, I've now had my license for 26 years. Um, and even on the, the first photo shoots, you know, it was rare to have a manicurist. And so you would see like Chanel imagery where makeup, hair, you know, couture, everything's gorgeous. And the nails are grown out or chipped because it, no wasn't, it, it wasn't thought of. And now it's like huh. nails complete the look. And so, wow. you know, like you said before, you were aware of your nails, but it wasn't until we started working right. together where we literally took your nail style and say, how does this complete the look? Which we do with all of your videos, your events. Totally. It's how, okay, what, what's the story that you're telling? Mm -hmm. What's the feel, the vibe that you're going for? And then how right. do nails complement, you know, your style, your makeup, like the whole thing totally. comes together. Like if you, if you went out there completely to the nines and your nails weren't done, it looks phony. It looks incomplete. But yeah, you could be in trainers grabbing a coffee and have a great manicure and people are like, oh yeah, she got it together. Totally. It's so, <laughs> so, so true. It's so true. And some, uh, um, a fan ask, asked, uh, the, the username is Hayes Cereal. Hey, out to you. Um, they asked, how do you decide what nails for an outfit? Which I actually thought was there's so much more thought that goes into that than I think most people think. And you and I have spent like, I mean, 
days leading up to events talking about sort of yes. down to down to the the shade of the color the the shape is obviously so important always to me i always feel like that's just as much a part of the story um like a slight variation in the shape um so much. but how do you and you always come up with such incredible ideas and and Thank um, you. yeah of course so what what do you think how as far as like what what are your steps as far as like picking the right nail for the look definitely so what what i like to do is is definitely first you know chatting with you is is getting the vibe getting the feel but then also looking at the outfit whether is it one is it two does the look need to go with multiple styles or is this like a right. specific gala like is it the met gala and we've got right. one look and we want to turn it out um and so i like i'm all about design um and balance and dimension and so what i like to do is the shape i usually contribute to something in the design of of your look so whether like if you're wearing really sharp pointed shoes where the toes got a super like stiletto point or it's a right. square flat point or maybe you know you've got an a-line skirt then i want to do mm -hmm. more of a square flat but we're going to tailor it a bit um or like you know one of the looks we did where we did the nude nail with the little black tips you had a really deep v cut Favorite. and so we did the same thing with the design in our tip so the mm -hmm. there's a balance between the nail the outfit and how they play off of each other I'm trying to pull up a photo i think that and the met ball from last year i think are my favorite nails yes. that we've ever done um well, and i'm trying to find that one you. that you just referenced yeah I will tell you that that one that I just referenced is is the highest viewed nail pick of all of my nail picks. Like four, really? four and a half. This one. That's the one. That's the one. Those are my. I, those are like again top two favorite nail look nail. Look? Almost four and a half million. Wow. Those are like I, my favorite. I'm telling you. What what so did crazy. you that for? I was gonna ask you the same thing. I because I didn't tag it because we did it beforehand and I don't remember I don't remember if you were just go were you going like to London you might have just been going somewhere and we just wanted something cool and pretty for when you I were think traveling you might be right yeah I'm still looking it was just like it. you know I want pretty nude nails but let's do a little something and we're like right, yeah. that's right okay so here's yeah. the thing people <laughs> I love a perfect nude nail. Obviously, you can never go wrong. It goes with everything. It looks timeless, classy, beautiful, especially when Tom does them. Um, but I feel like we have so many fun opportunities to do a crazy nail. And I'm always like, can we just do like a nude nail? And Tom was like, pretty. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so this was our little like nude nail, but with a twist. With if a you will. twist. Yes. Um, and there you have it. One of my favorites. It's so chic. That, so. It's such a great nail. It's such a great okay. nail. Everyone, like even like Hype Bay and different people always request, hey, can we post this? And you know, Sick. It's a, yeah, so it's, it, it gets, it gets awesome. around. Definitely. Amazing. Well, I just need to know what I'm supposed to do with my nails and I'll let you go. Because here's the thing, Tom. Yes. Not good. It's not good. <laughs> These are the remains of the I Love You's music video nails, okay? Got a little color left on one, and then the gel is stuck on the rest. Um, I was trying not to file them down because obviously I, ugh, I don't like doing that. Just like, sure, you know what I'm saying. And I also my nails are just. This is also great because my nails get a little break, um, but they're they're very sort of weak at the moment. Definitely. Um, so I was kind of trying to leave it on to let it grow out, but I've just been sitting here picking it off. Um, what do I do? Okay, so there's, 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 a, there's actually a really easy method. Um, okay. One thing you want to do is you want to start by thinning out the product. So whether it's a gel polish, um, dip powders, even acrylics, using a, a medium coarse, like a 180 grit file. If, if you have a harder product, like a, um, like a soak off gel or acrylic, you can even use more coarse file, like 100 grit. So the lower okay. the number, the, the more rough the file it is. So like got 180, it. 180, it keeps getting coarser and, and more rough. If you go okay. to like 240, 280, 320, those get smoother and smoother. So you wanna use got a coarse it. file. Basically for, nail, for gel polish, you just wanna remove the shine. 
that shine seals the product in and doesn't allow the product to soak off. It won't, it won't okay. remove properly. Okay. So a quick, a quick uh, removal of the shine. Then okay. at home, if you have either aluminum foil, you can cut it up into little squares, like little four by four squares. Use okay. a cotton ball in acetone. Now I recommend acetone if you have a great remover, but um, non-acetone removers, they take way too long and the gels, you know, you'll be sitting there all day. Okay. Um, but acetone or an acetone majority remover um, in a cotton ball on the nail, wrap it in aluminum foil and wait okay. five to 10 minutes and then use either like a tweezer man, pushy or an orange wood stick if you have available. Okay. Um, and you want to always remove the product. I'm going to put my hands up here. You want to <laughs> remove the product in the direction the nail grows. So you want to remove from the cuticle out to oh, the free end. Because okay. your nail cells grow like tiles on a roof and they grow from the cuticle wow. out. So if you push back against the cuticle, especially when your nails soften because it's been soaking, you could pull those nail cells up and actually create little divots and damage in the nail. Um, now, I know right now with, uh, you know, there's, there's the, the mandating, you know, stay at home policies right now. So if, if I put together a little nail removal rescue kit Oof. Do, 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 that actually has the wrap, the file and everything in it for you to do easily at home. Yes. Oh, I get this. So just go to my Insta okay. and in the bio, yep. you'll see the link to go straight to it. Because everyone kept asking, how do I do it? How do I do it? And it's like, well, where do oh I get God. the acetone? Where do I get this? Where do I get that? So I, I was able Genius. to pull some things together and, um, and hopefully it helps out. I, I don't have a lot of them because it's, it's so hard to get things, but, sure. um, but hopefully it helps a bit. Amazing. Tom, you are Yay. a legend. Thank you so, so much. You're so for welcome. Thanks for having always. me. Of course. Absolutely. And, um, Sending my love to your family. Keep same, making those TikToks same. because they're inspiring me and they are so fun to watch. They'll um, keep coming. Zoe won't let me stop. Good. Good. <laughs> well, send, send the family my love. I hope I see you soon, Tom. Thank you I so will much. Too. All right, baby. Take care. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as we have now broken down all the looks from the I Love You's music video. Go see it, go watch it if you haven't seen it. Uh, listen to the song if you haven't heard it, or if you've heard it, keep listening to it. Um, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all of your support, always. I hope you guys are staying home, staying healthy, staying happy, staying all of the, the positive things out there. Um, you guys are wonderful. Who's Anne? <laughs> Twin, what's happening? What's happening? I love you guys. I'm going to go get my little baby martini and get some fresh air. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.